Well, thanks, Speedway Video. Speedway Video. Speedway Video. Speedway Video. Speedway Video. He's up there doing his job. I go back and watch my racing. I learn something new every time I watch. I already thank Tom with Speedway Video, but your wife insists I thank him again. Go to patreon.com slash speedway video now. Heart, heart Breast Cancer Foundation collection going on as well. If you'd like to donate to our local track charity here, the Heart to Heart Breast Cancer Foundation. And I can run through the rest of our sponsors with the field pacing at two and a half mile an hour. Pace car going to pull away. The field will remain at that speed and we'll go racing on Labor Day. to get the 25 machine down pit road to have a, a little word with him now first time here but we don't want people wrecking the field before we get the race started so i'm gonna have just a little chat with him calm him down again he's a rookie and this is the good you know this is the bomber division this is where we start out but we like to be able to get the race started so they're trying to get him to pit road. I don't know if he's got a race here. He should. It's in the rules to have one, but. Three. Officially, two strikes on the 25. We haven't even started a race yet. as we try to get everything cleaned up, lined up, and restarted. I did just get our 50-50 raffle up here in the tower. We have $110 to the winner. Frank, do me a favor. Reach on in there and grab me a ticket. Get your 50-50 tickets out. We get our winning ticket here. The Daniel Bromley and Daniel Snyder. Not a good start to the race for the Daniels. They are out. All right, folks, let's try this again. Two yellows, zero laps complete. CJ Creech, Stephen Wright, gonna lead us to the green, and so far, so good. Compared to what's happened so far, we'll let that one stick. Good start, finally. It's a handful of cars out on lap zero. 
we'll see what this 25 car can do from the back of the field. But for the lead, C.J. Creech and Stephen Wright going to work. Snyder getting way up the racetrack, but hangs on it. Charles Frodo in the 70s for the wall, too. A lot of silver cars out here. My goodness. You want the 80s? Seven CJ Creech under attack from last year's championship. Oh, look out, Noah! Nice save by the five and the seventies all torn up. Now some big damage on the right front of the seventy. And we'll sort it all out here in a second. Dare I say explosive. Thirty-seven laps to go, boys. Race control reminding them of that, by the way. Here's the thing about racing. You can't win it on lap one, but you sure as heck can lose it. And a good chunk of the field has already lost. Here we go. Green fly back in the air. The field scrambles off into turn number one. Out in front, Stephen Wright in the 47 car. Well, the 88 car is slip sliding around Larry Masters. Those two guys were real favorites to win this thing and now move the 87 to Smith up in the top five. Stephen Wright, 47, out front in the forward. In second, it is the Blending Champion, Jim Seventh, eight is the 14 of Rome. Then that 25 car, the Husky 25. Hang on, hang on. Oh, Brandon, hang on, Brandon. Nice save by Brandon Monroe. There's 70 drop from the spot. Take it back up to the top five. Is Here comes the 25. 25 or 
pushing, working his way up. James Matthews. He's giving it a ride tonight, that's for sure. the 13 and I missed the 25 coming off the corner until he smacked the wall. What a debut for Matthews in the 25. It caught me by surprise. I just looked over at the right time and saw him pancaking the wall and he's lost. He's lost down there, folks. Here comes Larry Matthew Masters to pit road. James Matthews in the 25. He's over there by the Bromley, so I'm sure just thrilled with him. Go ahead and fix it right here. This is a good spot. Right here. All right. We're going to. Okay. Well, 
conventional pit stop. This is, this is the one. This is the one we're going to talk about for a long, long time. So there you go. We're going to just go ahead and, and change the tire here real quick. Get him back out there. Oh, and now the 87 is slow in turn over. He's pulling his belts tight, I think. He's seen the first 20 laps of this thing. Yeah. This is tough for the most recent Bomber winner from the end of July. Alan Smith, the 87 from the back of the field, was running in the fourth position. And here comes Dustin Hayden to pit road. Everybody go to pit road. My goodness, what a race this has turned into. And Dustin Hayden coming down pit road to the service of his crew. That car just hasn't quite been itself tonight. So we're gonna get the rear tire on the 25, and I'm telling you, most people would hit the wall like that, spin into turn number one here at New Smyrna and not wanna come back. He wants to get right back into the race. Dustin Hayden coming back out, we'll see what's up with Alan Smith. A wild first 20 line. Now normally the bomber race will be over, this, this will be the end of it. We still got a whole race to go, basically. We've got like half the field left, and Smith is rolling again. If weekly racing doesn't sound like your thing, we have the Armadillo Enduro. Oh, the 25 just wanted to look like Dustin. They both had their doors pushed in. 87 stopped in turn one, 25 back on pit road. They're checking under the rear of that machine. Demolished the wall off turn number four. I looked up just as he was making contact with it. It actually kind of scared me. Didn't excite, just scanning through the field and just saw him in the wall and then big slide into turn number one and Got T-boned by the 88 of Larry Masters, and the 25 would be done for the night. Something amiss under the rear end of the machine, not safe to return, unless they fix it, I'm told. Uh, 25 with some heavy rate front damage as well. And now they're, they're going back to work, folks. The 87 going to come in, tough break for Alan Smith. Not going to be two in a row for him. Half the race complete, half the field obliterated. So we started the day with 18 cars. If we can have the 25 out of the opening there, if you guys could just push that into the pits a little bit, we'd appreciate it, please. If you're able to. Thank you, folks. The defending champion, Jim Snyder, to my outside. C.J. Creech is third. Fourth is Brandon Monroe. Old Foy boys up there. Aaron Foy in the fifth spot. Larry Masters still, I mean, that car should be killed, but it's not. He's in sixth. Then it's Jonathan Vogelius. The 15 doesn't hit, and Leroy Crawford's going to get a hell of a finish today. Attaboy, Leroy. Green flag, green flag. Leroy gonna win this race the way these guys are going today. Half the field fall out in the first 20, all he needs is the other half to fall out and he's gonna win this damn thing. To the lead is the 47. Uh oh, hang on to it. Boy, turn three and four is tricky now. Steven Wright, your leader. Dustin Hagen, Larry Masters side by side, CJ Creech side by side with Jim Snyder. I'm telling you, don't count out the 15 quite yet. They made a pit stop and probably put the supercharger back on that thing. And he's coming. CJ Creech jumps CJ and Snyder side by side still. Brandon the road. I don't think he likes where he's at right now, to be honest with you. 23 laps complete. Stephen Wright way out in front, walking away from this field as CJ Creech uses all the racetrack in turn two. Show stopper trying to get back by. He's going to send it down on the inside. Battles on again for second. CJ running that outside. Second 
spot. Uh, Mr. Wright is gone. Second through about sixth. Yeah, somewhat close to each other. The good news is if they were directed, have plenty of space to avoid each other. They didn't have plenty. Second spot ahead of the 81 of Snyder. Monroe in the 14 and Dustin Hagen in the 15. Things calming down for these last five. At this point, if I see the 47, I'm moving over too. That guy is fast. Stephen Wright in the 47. 
Sportsman up next. Here comes Snyder to Second is CJ Creeks, who's got the 81. Out the top five, and Larry Masters trying to take that away from him. White flag, mercy flag in the air. Trying to wrap it up for second. Snyder takes over second point. That's for two points. That could be big for the championship, ladies and gentlemen. That's the drama right there, because this guy, Stephen Wright, just whooped everybody. Wright wins it, fifth win of the year. And Jim Snyder takes over to go. CJ Reeves third. Brandon Monroe fourth. And look at this for fifth. Larry Masters just took a spot from Higdon. Larry Masters is going to And I think Jono got eighth, and Leroy is going to come home in ninth. A good top ten effort for Leroy Crawford tonight. He's going to blow it up. Front wheel drive, baby. Right into victory lane. Oh, we will head on down, grab one of our winner sportsmen. Bring them up, please. And folks, just want to let everybody know it is half off all cooked food at this time. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here he comes. Stephen Wright, your winner. Fifth win of the season. And he does an indominating crash of the night. Well, sir, that is how you make a statement. You blistered them in qualifying, and then not even close in the race. I mean, you had these guys waxed tonight. Fifth win of the season. Congratulations. I'm just having fun. I mean, that's what we come out to do, right? Yep. What makes this car so fast? It's all, it's all driver? It's all driver? <laughs> There's a lot of work in this car. I, I can tell. It's, it's what we call the fast forward out here. And I mean, man, when you go, I think the bomber guys were feeling good about themselves till about five o'clock when you showed up and then they all groaned because here comes the 47. You've had a, a great season. It's been up and down, but you continue to, to win. And this was a statement tonight. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people say I'm cheating, but I go home, do my homework, work on this car day in, day out. We get it figured out. Look, every time somebody comes up here to Victory Lane, the guys find them. That's what they say. They say you're cheating. You have to be. But I don't think that's the case, my friend. Congratulations on another win. Anybody you'd like to thank? Family, friends, and fans in the stands. Stephen Wright, five wins on the season. Does his homework, folks, and that's how you make a race car fast. Stephen Wright gets it done, and we go down to here from our second place finisher. Hell of a move with two to go for Jim Snyder to get up to second. A long race. Long race for you guys today, but man, you had just enough in you to steal second away from CJ. And with what happened to Dustin in qualifying, the points battle's really going to tighten up. You really needed every point you could get today, and you did not quit. Congratulations. I know you want to win one of these damn things. You've been, I'm sure you're tired of second, third place, but consistency is going to get you right up in this championship battle, my friend. I'm fine with that. As long as I can be consistent, we'll be up there for it, fighting for it sooner or later. Oh, it's really, like I said, really going to tighten up. CJ over to uh, say congratulations. Everybody was hitting everybody today. It's wild race. Hot day, too, huh? It's a real hot day, but that's a bomber race. We're going to hit each other. It doesn't matter. Yeah, that's why we still let you guys have fenders. I mean, that's what bomber class is all about. It was pretty exciting there for the first few laps, and uh, 47 car got away from everybody. What do you need on this thing to get up there with them? Probably a different set of tires again. We'll try it. That's been the, the story of the year, man. But you guys you guys keep digging. You're, I, you might end up here with the, the point lead. we got to see how everything shapes out. You, you and CJ were close, and you passed them with two to go. So it's it's going to be real close. But anybody like to thank for the good run tonight? I want to thank all the fans for coming out and all the JCM. And i got to especially thank my dad and my nephew, Danny. Danny's the one that usually works on this car besides me. So That's a big team effort. Jim, congratulations. Keep working on it. You'll get a win before this thing's done. We'll get there. 
Ladies and gentlemen, Jim Snyder brings it home in second, a hard-fought second place finish tonight. Took it away from CJ there with a couple to go. CJ, good to see you back up here on the podium, man. It's been a struggle the last couple of months for you fighting engine woes. And I was just, you know, you, you were, I was telling Jim the points are really going to tighten up because Dustin, unfortunately, DQ'd after qualifying. So one of you two is going to come out of here, probably the point leader. And uh, I'm sure you don't want to give up second there with a couple to go. But good race, and it's good to see you back here in the, uh, in, on the podium. Yeah, it's great to be back. I'm just glad I finished this race. I had two or three laps ago, and I could feel my tire start shredding apart, so just couldn't hold Jim off that much longer. Oh, good thing it wasn't 41 laps. That's uh, That is looking pretty iffy there, but uh, like I said, uh, what, what was the issue? Was it a motor issue that you've been fighting the last couple of months? Uh, this is the third bottom end in this car this season, so I think I figured out the problem. Moving forward, we should be good to go. Well, that's why we call you all bombers. Y'all blowing up something, but good run for you tonight. Anybody you'd like to thank? Uh, I'd like to thank all my sponsors, my friends, my family, everybody in the stands, Tom and Speedway Video, Ryan with Ryan's, uh, Steven for helping me get this thing back together last minute for like the 15th time. Um, I already thanked Tom with Speedway Video, but your wife insists I thank him again. So thank you, Tom. Uh, yeah, just everybody that's helped me on this car. CJ, congratulations. Good to run tonight. Good to see CJ back up on the podium. And, folks, I, I don't know if Tom can zoom in on it. I don't know if you can see it, but that tire is coming apart. That would explain why uh, we had a hard time fighting off Jim. But he almost finished second with half a tire on the right front. Pretty impressive. Good run for the Bombers tonight. That was wild and crazy. This just in, the 47 in the Bomber A division. Stephen Wright disqualified, unfortunately. And here he comes, too. He's, he doesn't look happy. I, I got the word that it was Springs. It is what it is, he says. Support Speedway Video. Go to patreon.com slash speedwayvideo now.